My favorite food is actually pizza. I know this is pretty cliched and it's like everyone's favorite food, but I really like pizza. I don't know anything. I only like sauce, margarita, and pepperoni. I wanted to get this video out by my birthday, so if this video released on June 30, good job future me. Pizza is the greatest food of all time. If you think that it's not the best, that's okay. But if you think that pizza is bad, I will find you. And I will kill you. Before we dive into why this mixture of melted cheese, flattered tomatoes, and processed flour is heaven on earth, we gotta go back to the beginning. The pizza we know today was founded in a city named Naples in 1889 by the first pizzaiolo, that's the name of a guy who makes pizzas, Raffaele Esposito. No, he's not related to Giancarlo Esposito. Let me ask you a question. Do you like pizza? It was commissioned by King Umberto I and Queen Margarita. And yes, that's why the common cheese pizza today is called the Margarita Pizza. However, pizza as a meal gained its popularity after it was bought to other countries after World War II. Now, I'm not gonna dive into the history of pizza too much, but I just quickly want to discuss the founding of Pizza Hut, which is the best pizza chain to ever exist. Pizza Hut was founded in 1958 by the Carney brothers, Dan and Frank Carney, in Kansas, making it the oldest pizza chain in America. Frank died at the very young age of 82, and his brother Dan is still alive, so that's cool, I guess. Okay, well, before we see how pizza affected society, we need to look at the ingredients that make up a pizza and why they're so-called heaven on earth. Now, on the outside, it just looks like some bread with cheese and tomato sauce. And it is, you're not wrong. But why is it so popular? Well, almost everyone likes ketchup. Almost everyone also likes grilled cheese sandwiches. Why though? Well, cheese and tomatoes actually have a high percentage of an amino acid called glutamate. Glutamate is a sort of flavor compound that excites the brain and makes you happy, kind of like caffeine. Essentially, pizza is a drug that psychologically makes you happier. And if pizza is a drug, then call me an addict. Not only is the glutamate a factor of its holy goodness, but pizza simply composes of ingredients that appeal to a lot of taste buds. The smell of pizza could also contribute to the fact that it tastes great. Now, how on earth did we manage to make a great dish even greater? Toppings. Cheese was a mere start. Toppings are where it's at. Now, imagine with me and try not to lose your mind. Imagine if you have a pizza with some cheese on it, but then you add some other things that aren't cheese. What did he say? Hey! Anyways, the first topping to be ever placed on pizza was basil, and that was just to give it a bit more flavor and enhance the taste. When were other toppings added? Well, I don't care about anything other than pepperoni, and that was added as a topping officially in 1950. Oh yeah, let's talk about pineapple pizza real quick. I'm actually not an extremist concerning this topic. I hate it because I don't even like pineapple, but if you do like it, I don't judge. Pineapple was placed on pizza as a topping in 1962, and it wasn't actually invented at Hawaii, despite the name Hawaiian pizza. It was invented by some Greek dude named Sam Panopoulos. He owned a restaurant in Ontario, Canada, and he died pretty recently on June 8, 2017. Or well, what about stuffed crust? Well, Pizza Hut strikes again in this area. See, in the early 90s, a genius named Paddy Scheibmeier infused dough with mozzarella cheese to make the crust more appealing to the people who just didn't eat the crust. Because of this, the pizza industry changed forever. All hail the queen. Now, while I was researching all this, I came across a fact that many foods have different national days. I actually announced that it was National Pizza Day in my server in the dedicated pizza channel. That's right, we have a dedicated pizza channel in my Discord server. I swear this wasn't a recent addition. The oldest message sent was like last year. I also found out that the National Pepperoni Day is September 20th. In the end, pizza is food and an exceptional one at that. Pizza is a great joy bringer to pretty much everyone. It's been widely adopted as the standard birthday food and the standard food for school dish parties. It has ingredients that literally just make you happier and overall, it's just one of humanity's greatest inventions. But like my wise uncle once said, we eat to live, not live to eat. Except when it comes to pizza, I live for that sh It's Do you think the pepperoni to cheese ratio to sauce ratio is good? What do you think? More pepperoni, think, less pepperoni? I think it's lacking in sauce, but the crust looks amazing. Like that I think maybe burnt edge, I like a burnt edge. 
<laughs> Wait, I think a bite? I think... Yeah, yeah, take a bite. You see the sauce is in inside. The sauce is all inside. What's we analyzing pizza right now? <laughs> bro, I'm anal- that, What do you think I'm doing in Da Vinci, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. Okay, I'm actually serious. Hold, okay, like, so the sauce know, is inside. Yeah, I see what you mean. Hang on, let yeah, me drop it. Yeah, it has like a and good look ratio. At it the ground. No, 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 you dropped it on the carpet. Yeah. You see, like, it has a lot of sauce. Yeah, I understand. Okay, so I think this is a very good ratio, and the crust as well, you know. Um, yeah, it has like burnt that edge, detail. you know. Yeah. I think the pepperoni yeah. ratio is also perfect, you know. I like yeah. right about this much amount of pepperoni on my. Uh, this pizza, like, a, maybe an 8 out of 10. Thank you.